Hi everyone. Uh, today I'm bringing you a project and this project is inspired by Miss Luisa Diaz who is Luisa Diaz here on YouTube. She is having a gift away challenge or giveaway challenge on her channel. Uh, and the challenge was to create anything we wanted using the colors red and black only. And this is what I made. And real quick, before I get on to my project, I just want to say thank you to Louisa for doing this challenge giveaway. I hope you all go over and subscribe to her channel, even if you're not going to participate in the challenge. Just go over and show her some love and say hello. And the other person I wanted to thank was my friend Sharon. Hi, Sharon, who is Soto Liel One um, here on YouTube. And she is the person who gifted me this beautiful, beautiful stamp by Kaiser Craft. And I believe her name is Miss Jude, I think. And I can't show you the stamp right now, guys, because I went over to my cousin's house, as you saw from a previous video of my goodie haul. Um, I went over to her house and to show off that beautiful stamp. She wanted to see the card. Um, I had some finishing touches to do, so I decided to take it over and do it over there. And um, when I showed her the stamp, she liked it so much, I told her she could borrow it um, and stamp some images and make some cards with it, and I would retrieve it later. Because we share so much. We share everything. And it's so great to be able to share with someone. So, okay, on to my project. Um, I made this card using... Um, the Metal Lark paper collection, which guys, I've had this in my stash for a bit. And let me tell you, this is the collection. It's by My Mind's Eye. And these papers are so beautiful. I didn't realize how stinking gorgeous they were. I mean, I wanted a black and white paper pad only because I love this color combination, which is something Louisa and I do have in common. Um, so I was really inspired to do this because I don't see too many people challenging with those colors and they happen to be some of my favorite color tones to use. So in any case, um, I used the Metalock paper here and this is a 6x6 six six card. I cut out some red cardstock first and then I matted it with the Metalock paper and down here as you can see the border trim, the black one is also one of the Metalock papers so I used two um, of the designer papers and with the um, black one I cut out using this paper punch a border and it's called Rings, it's by Martha Stewart and I just um, created that border and underneath the border I have some lace which I tucked um, under and I ran that across but of course you can't see it because the flowers and the um, label here kind of covered it up. On the corners I have some flat back red pearls on every corner as you can see there and then I also have some recollections bling. Um, it's just some silver crystals and black crystals. I have this beautiful little red bow with this shiny ribbon which I love so much. I love this ribbon and I made a little bow there. I put some wild orchid cherry blossoms here and here and I basically um, layered them on top of these black silk prima flowers and I also have some basil black um, flowers here and the red roses are just some roses that I have bought from one of the party supply stores and for the image, I colored it in using three different shades of my red Pro Mark markers, which are alcohol-based markers that work just like Copics. And I also added a baby little red pearl here and along the bottom of her skirt, as you can see here. And then on the trim over here, this is a Spellbinders die. And guys, what I did with this one was I believe the name of that one is Labels 8, and this is the die right here. And what I did was I cut it out twice, once on red cardstock and then once on white cardstock. And then I just fussy cut the white cardstock, and I just wanted to center. 
so that I can stamp my image and I layered that onto the red cardstock so that it can look like a portrait of this woman and I added some more of those baby black pearls along here and down here as well and over here and then I just covered it with some red stickles along the border here and also on the woman's dress and over here on the flare just to give it a little pizzazz and I colored her hair in with the black pro marker but I only covered it in um, around the swirls because I didn't want it to look like a big um, black mat I wanted to show some details without adding any other colors other than the black and I believe that's it for the outside and then oh and I distressed everything using black soot um, distress ink pad and then on the inside what I did was the negative from the white um, die cut that I did not use I used it over here just to layer it down on this card I have some red crystals on all the corners and I also cut the next size down off of this black cardstock um, and I will be putting um, something here this is going I already know who this is going to and I will do that when I'm ready to send this out to the person who's going to receive this card so I just left the inside blank and with a little black bow again using some sparkly ribbon that I had in my stash and that's my card that I made for Louisa's project using the Meadowlark papers. I hope you all enjoy and please go over and catch um, all the other projects that these women are making. You, you will see some amazing stuff on her channel. These ladies have really be been creating some beautiful things. Excuse me one second. <coughs> and I hope you guys like the card. Please leave a comment below. And hopefully Louisa will like you too. Thank you all for watching. Again, thank you Sharon for this beautiful image of this card. I mean of this woman, the stamp image that I made for the card. And thank you all for watching. Have a blessed day. Talk to you soon. Bye.